so friends now we are going to discuss very important component of mechanical design of an heat exchanger which are baffles the purpose the basic purpose of this baffle is let's understand first how the baffle arrangement would look like so let's say this yellow color plates are representing baffles over here and uh, here for the pur uh, for purposefully we have not shown the skeleton assembly that is with tie rods spacers and tubes for the better understanding that how the flow is going to happen across the baffles right so here we have just not shown the uh, tubes and the tie rod and spacer arrangement I just shown the baffles practically there will be tubes and tie rod spacer tubes also so let's say this is inlet nozzle and this is outlet nozzle how the flow is going to happen you can see the flow is going to move across the baffle it is going to change its direction and then it will go out so if imagine if there are no baffles then the fluid might have entered from here move towards right and most have gone through the outlet nozzle so what has done uh, because of this baffle or uh, uh, as provided we are providing the baffles so the baffles are going to direct the fluid across it so it is going to increase the resident time of that fluid inside the heat exchanger so let's say earlier it would have passed through two seconds now it has been uh, stayed there for let's say three or four seconds so in a way by providing baffles we have increased the residence time of that fluid inside the shell side so let's have a look at one more time how the flow is going to happen so it is going to change its direction across the baffle always right as there are baffle cuts provided let's say these are single segmented baffles so the flow direction is going to change like this so what is the purpose of the baffle we have seen that how it increase the residence time to increase the residence time of the shell side fluid in heat exchanger and to direct the flow of the shell side fluid across the tube bundle which increases the turbulence and heat transfer coefficient and hence increases the heat transfer efficiency so by increasing the residence time it will increase the uh, time for which um, it is being in contact with the tube uh, tube bundle and hence the more heat transfer will happen also as it is directed across the bundle it creates more turbulence by providing more turbulence it increases the heat transfer coefficient and by increasing heat transfer coefficient it will also increase the efficiency of that heat exchange over there in that particular heat exchanger so one more time we will read it to increase the residence time what is the purpose of the baffle is to increase the residence time of the shell side fluid in heat exchanger and to direct a flow of the shell side fluid across the tube bundle which increases the turbulence and heat transfer coefficient and hence increases the heat transfer efficiency in that heat exchanger so that is a primary uh, function from process point of view of a baffle to increase the residence time however if we are going to increase the residence time or rather we are going to direct the flow across the tube bundle so it will also increase the pressure drop so however increasing the turbulence and the flow direction increases the pressure drop which further requires to increase the pump or the compressor capacity one need to have the balance between the number of baffles and the pump capacity as it is going across the baffles continuously it is going to change its direction and it will be offered resistance by the tube bundle to overcome that resistance it has to pump with some higher pressure right so because of this the pump capacity is going to get increased or if it is air or some compressed gas which is going to pass uh, through the compressor or the pressure would be generated by the compressor in that case the it will increase the pump capacity or compressor capacity so we always have to uh, set a balance between the baffles number of baffles and the pump capacity that is the challenge that a process engineer uh, need to handle to support tubes along its length and to avoid buckling of the tubes another most important 
function of a baffle, uh, baffle or the purpose of the baffle is to support the unsupported tubes and to avoid buckling of the tubes. Let's have another look at. So let's say these are the baffles and these are the tubes which it is going to support. So as you can see, if there are no baffles, so the tubes will be supported from tube sheet to tube sheet and the hmm, unsupported span would be very high. So there will be sagging of tubes might have happened and it may have increased the vibration. Uh, uh, it would have increased the flow induced vibration in the uh, heat exchanger tube bundle and it might have uh, com contacted or we can say impacted upon other tubes. So to avoid that, these uh, baffles are providing necessary support of the unsupported tube span. So the other mechanical uh, function of providing baffle is to support the tubes along its length and to avoid buckling of the tubes. Otherwise, it would have buckled.